In this video, I'm going to do a shift to sprint function using the user input service. And a lot of people have done that. So I decided to add a stamina bar, have a button here for mobile users. And then let's see what happens when we get really, really tired. I figured I'd go a little further than anybody else on this. So once we get down to the red, if we go too far, oh, bummer. And then you lay in your puke for like eight seconds. I thought that would be pretty cool. I think that's original. Anyway, and then you're moving really slow afterwards because you don't feel good. I'm going to do this in four videos. Today will be the shift run. Then the next video, UI and stamina. Third video, animations. Fourth video will be the puking with a tween service. So you'll know a lot of stuff after this. Let's go ahead and get a fresh world and get started with our sprint to our shift to sprint. All right, so here's a fresh base plate. We're going to go down in the Explorer here, go down to the starter player, open that up, and then starter character scripts. Let's click on that, hit the plus sign, add a local script. This is going to be running on your machine. It's going to be local, a client script. So let's call this shift run. Make this a little bit bigger. Now this part's going to be kind of easy, but I want to show you stuff about the user input service and things like that. Let's get a variable for our player service first. So game get service players. And then from the player service, we're going to get a player. So we'll do players dot local player because it is a local script. Then we're going to get the character from the player. I'm going to put it in a variable called char. So I'll say player dot character or player dot character added weight. I get a humanoid root part from the character. I'll call it HRP. So char, wait for child, humanoid root part. Just wait. And then I'm going to get the humanoid also. So we'll go char, wait for child, humanoid. All right, now, how do you get the running sound? Because we want the running sound to match the run. If we start running faster, we want the sound to speed up. Well, sound for the running is in the humanoid root part. And this has changed. So if you watch this, an older video, um, it might not be there. All right, so you have, to, you have to check to see where it's at. It is in the humanoid root part now, as of today, which is May 1st, 2022. All right, so we're gonna get our running sound. Now we need our user input service to capture key events. So we're gonna say game, get service, user input service, right? And then we're going to need a variable to determine whether we're running or not. So I'm doing this slightly different than some of the other people because we're going to add stuff to it, right? We need stamina. We need animations. We need puking. We need a lot of stuff. So just put a variable there for running. Now here, I'm going to do a local function and I'm going to call this update, right? And we'll get back to update. Let's go ahead and hook up update first to our user input service. I'm going to get a local function on input function defined here. Input and game processed will be the two parameters that get passed in. If I get my user input service input began event connected to on input. Get rid of those two extra parentheses. So when we hit a key or a mouse click or anything like that, this is going to fire. This is going to be called from that. And I never use game process, but let's be complete. And let's say if not game, whoops, game processed. It's a flag to let you know if the game has already processed this event. Um, and if it isn't, then we'll say, which it rarely is. So that's why I never check for it. I'll say, input dot key code equals equals enum dot key code dot left shift. So you can pick whatever key you want in here. I'm going to do the left shift. Then all I'm going to do is set that running flag to not running. So whatever it was, now it's the opposite of it. If it was true, it goes to false, right? And vice versa. And then let's just put a print statement in here so we can see what's going on. Running. Cool. All right. So 
this is going to be set to true. Nothing's really going to happen, but I need to have this update function checking for this flag. Let's go ahead and spawn the update. So it's going to be cast in its own thread. That way it's not going to interfere and you're going to see what's going on. It's not going to interfere with the rest of the script because I'm going to do an infinite loop in here. And then if I put code down here, I'm going to want to be able to run it. If I have an infinite loop and I just call update, it's going to stop right there. You're not going to be able to get to the rest of your script. So I'm spawning it. I'm spawning it in its own thread. And then I'm going to get two local variables in this update. One is going to be sound. I'm going to call it sound speed right? The speed of the sound of his footsteps. So the playback speed of the footsteps running is times two. I just had to look that up. And then the speed a character normally moves, oh my gosh, is 16. All right. So let's just initialize those. Now we're going to do our while loop. Let's do a while wait. And then we'll wait a half a second in between loop iterations. That's what our update's gonna be. We are gonna check to see if we're running, right? So if we're running, we're gonna get our sound speed and we're gonna double it, right? We're gonna say sound speed equals four. And then the speed itself will double, right? Which will be 32. So that's if we're running. Oh, let's put a print out too, just to make sure. Right, print, running, cool. And then let's copy this, control C. I'm not gonna do an else if, because other things may happen to break my run and not run. So I want these to ex execute separately. And I want the not running to be below the running, right? Because when we get fatigued, we're gonna break our running in here, and then we're gonna have to be able to start checking down here. All right, so here, if we're not running, it's going to be 2 and 16. All right, and then what happens if we stop? Since we're going to have stamina, we can't be in a running state and then be stopped. So we're, we don't want to generate fatigue if we're stopped. So I'm going to check to see if my player stopped by doing the humanoid move direction magnitude. Right? And that's going to say, this is the direction we're moving in, but it's a vector. So if we get the magnitude, we're going to get the speed. right? And then if it's less than, let's say 0 0.01. So if they're just barely moving, we're going to say they're practically stopped. Then we're going to say running will equal false. And also we're going to do other stuff in there when we have stamina. All right? Now at the end of all of this, we're actually going to get our sound. We are going to set our playback speed. Oh, that's capital S. Speed. I like when the IntelliSense pops it in. And then that's going to be that sound speed. We're going to get our humanoid walk. What's that? Walk speed. Ah, walk speed. That's going to be equal to the speed. Whew, good thing I'm almost done. There we go. We are done. That's all we need. So this is going to be tripped. But this is going to be updating all the time, this update right here. Let's play it, see what we got. Now, we put that in starter character scripts. What does that mean? When I start my game, if I go into the workspace, here's my player. It's actually my character because I'm in the workspace. I open this up. Look at that, shift run. It loaded it into my character when we started. So that's where it is. Let's go ahead and try it. I'm walking. I'm going to hit my shift button. Ha, ah, I'm running. Let's view the output. And then I should have broken my run. Oh, I did. All right. As soon as I stopped, and now when I hit W, it broke the run. I didn't put a printout there. We need to put different printouts. Let's try that real quick. So we got our run, our running. This is walking. Oh, my gosh. Let's just do this. Walking. And then we're going to break, break, run, print, break, run. And that should be good to go. Let's check it out again. There we go. Walking and then break, run when I stop, right? Break, run when I stop. 
but that's okay because we weren't running. Hit the shift. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Hit the shift again. I'm walking. Hit the shift again. I'm running. And then stop, break, run. Cool. It is functioning. So you do have a shift to run. And now you're set up for our stamina, uh, stamina and UI for the next video.